What's up, man? Alright, so I took it home. I changed the needle position settings. Cleaned the carb out. I had a dirty uh, main jet. It's riding a lot better. Um, I don't know how much better. But it's not spitting and sputtering the way it was earlier. I don't have my sunglasses, so it's pretty bright. And my visor is super dirty. But I'm um, just going to cruise. Check out the neighborhood scenery. My speed sensor is way off. I don't know if you can see that. But it thinks I'm going like 600 miles an hour at times. But speed sensor is broke. And... Uh, Ooh, to get a new one, it's uh, expensive. Very expensive. Well, not really, but hard to obtain is more like it. Oops. So, still need a little tuning on that portion of it. But I can downshift again, so that's cool. It's, run it's pretty hot. The bike itself is pretty hot. The day is pretty warm too. A little stuttering right there. But uh, just go for a little cruise around the neighborhood. Throw the blinker on, try to go left. Car coming. Don't know which way they're going. I'm going this way. Alright, so this is a 1985 Harley Davidson FXR. It's a 2012 103 twin cam in it. A Bassani Road Rage 3 pipe. A Makuni HSR 45 car, which is giving me loads of issues right now. Probably, I'm not going to blame the carb. I'm going to blame the uh, mechanic, which is me. Um, I, I truly, I don't know a whole lot about carburetors, but the thing about it is, is uh, when they're tuned right, they're great. But my problem is, is I don't know very many people who have a 103 twin cam. You know, a, this is like, you can find information about a 103, like, but they're normally, you know, bored and stroked, uh, you know, older twin cam motors. Yeah, that right there is an issue. Which I don't know why um, it's doing this. I wonder if it's an accelerator pump thing, to be honest with you. But, I mean, I don't, I don't truly really know. But, uh, so this bike I built from the ground up. Um, it's got inverted forks on it. Uh, I bought the frame and the whole bike was in a box. I had everything but a, you know, I had the front end and everything, but it was all in a box. And uh, it's running better than it was before. Make sure my gas is on. We'll go up this way. But uh, it's running better than it was before, surprisingly, even with that hesitation right there. But, so I built this thing, started when I was uh, 16 or 17, I think. By my 19th birthday, I rode it for the first time. Um, by my 19th birthday, I rode it for the first time. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, a huge project. I mean, it's always going to have its little issues, I think. Because it's a bunch of stuff that's not supposed to go together. I mean, it's an 85 frame with a 2012 motor in it. You know, and it's a twin cam motor, not an Evo. It's got a five-speed Evo-style transmission. You know, stock FXR transmission. Tapered shaft, which I hate. Because the clutches that you can get for it are god-awful. Um... It's got, you know, custom mounts for newer Brembo's, which 
lights are on it near a Harley Davidson brakes screws down here a lot of dirt a lot of dirt Ooh. Um, you know it's got a chain drive kit stock FXR style primary um, the sunny road rage like I don't know I'm probably repeating myself I'm still new to this whole vlogging thing but uh yeah I mean I built this bike I'm really proud of it I love it to death but man it is it's just got its little issues you know I'm trying to work them out but it's one of those things where you just gotta you gotta figure it out and doing that is the hard part this rear cylinder is getting really hot but I love it I mean I built this thing from the ground up there's not another one that I know of around here like it I mean Not bad for a bike that's got a bunch of stuff that's not supposed to go into it on it um, you know they're not supposed to go together <laughs> so it's just one of those things are you, you're gonna have your little issues you're gonna have your little problems and whatever and whatnot but it's a great bike it's a fun bike when it's running right it's a uh, pain in the ass when it's not I mean it handles like it's on rails runs real rides fast looks cool in my opinion I mean if you don't like it then tough shit <laughs> but uh, if I want to do like a full walk around of it and show it off a little bit you know because I think it's really hard for young guys like me I mean today's my 23rd birthday but still I got into Harleys at a young age you know uh, my dad always had Harleys and all of his friends had Harleys so like all I knew motorcycle wise was dirt bikes and Harleys growing up I never even once thought of a sport bike for the longest time you know I was you know from a young age it was always I have to have a Harley I have to have a Harley and at the time it was also I have to have a dirt bike and I just got rid of my dirt bike I just got rid of my dirt bike a little bit ago a couple, a couple weeks ago actually so now I just really want to make sure that this thing's running right so I can go out and ride with my buddies and have a good time take my girlfriend on the back of it um, which is uh you know always been my dream since I was a little kid like that's all I knew so my dad had a Harley and my mom rode on the back of it, you know, so I just, it's kind of ingrained into me. That's, I'll, I'll always have a Harley. I'll probably never get rid of this one. I'd like to get another one. Um, ooh, I'd like to get another one just for having fun on, you know, something that runs every single time that's fuel injected. This exhaust is getting real blue. But I want to get into videos, making more videos and stuff. Just having a good time. Just people looking at me. Um, and kind of, I want to, I feel like Harley's not really a dying brand, but you know, young kids, probably my age. I don't know a whole lot of them. I only know one other kid that, about my age, you know, in his 20s, early 20s, that wants a Harley or has a Harley and I, it kind of bums me out you know because growing up on Harleys this is all I knew you know growing up around Harleys my dad used to take my, me to school on his bike and uh oops that's still not tuned right but you know Harleys are real fun I think uh a lot more young people should give them a chance because you know you could really this is really one of the bikes that you can truly make your own you know 
there's a billion sets of handlebars there's a million different colors you could go there's you know tons of different front ends tons of different styling you know uh, and for a young kid wanting to get into a motorcycle it's really hard to get a harley you know they're expensive and you do what i did think you're gonna save some money and in reality you, you put you know 15 20 grand into a motorcycle that does this you know runs every once in a while <laughs> and uh but i really i really this is it's been together since like i said since i was 19 i've rode it around since i was 19 and uh it's only been giving me problems the last couple months right when i started you know going all right i'm gonna make moto vlogs yeah and i want to cruise around and uh so it's only really giving me problems the last couple months this guy has a crop top on that that's a little weird scene but yeah so i really want to just make videos for guys about my age and a little younger you know who want to get into motorcycles and maybe you could consider a harley and yeah it's old technology harleys are you know way behind the times especially this one which has a new motor but you know it's still carbureted still has the tapered shaft tranny but at the end of the day if i could just you know influence one kid to consider a harley for his first bike which this isn't doing it a whole lot of justice um, by riding this super clapper around. Which, whatever. But, uh, we can just influence one kid to think about a Harley their first bike whether it's a sportster or a dyna or fxr if you could find one a bagger for a, you know if that's what you want all right don't wait fool dang this thing's getting hot hot What, dude? What's your fucking problem? I don't like me mug me. What? What do you want to do? Like, what are you gonna do? It's a freaking motorcycle, bud. Anyway, so. It's not a dude, that's a chick. Here are the problems again. But at the end of the day, like I'm trying to say, because I don't know how to, what to talk about or how to do this yet. If you get a really cool Harley or that's what you want to get into is a Harley. Oh my God. foot's mounting onto this thing <laughs> little kid fishing in the front yard but what I'm trying to get at is I would like to introduce the my generation to consider a Harley Davidson as a motor, valuable motorcycle a viable motorcycle I should say So yeah, 
people who want to talk about Harleys being bad probably never ridden one. This concludes today's test ride, I guess.